Hi, I'm Paula Holloway and I'm the Education Programs Director at the Rehoboth Art League and this is Story Art. This is where we read a story and then afterwards we do an art project based on the story. Today's story is Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all of her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through, so when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean, Marisol shouted. I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. That night, Marisol Setter settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That? Marisol said, that is sky color. So at different times of the day and night, the sky is different colors. And so Marisol painted her sky lots of different colors. For today's art project, we're going to do our own picture of drifting through a sky of swirling colors. For our art project today, you're going to need two pieces of white paper, crayons, a pencil, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and watercolors with a brush, some water in a cup, and a piece of paper towel. Now to start with, we're going to, we have our piece of white paper, and we are going to wet it with just plain water going to get our brush wet and we're going to do the whole piece of paper. You're just going to paint it with plain water all the way across and down. Okay, and you just continue down. Then you're going to pick whatever colors you want from your watercolor pan. I'm going to start with orange. And what happens when you paint over the water is that the paint spreads across and sometimes kind of mingles. I'm going to change my color to red just to show you. Kind of mingles and blends with the orange a bit. It drips down a bit, but it gives you a nice blending of 
what I want my sky color to be. You can put any color you want. I'm going to do one more color. I'm going to put some green in. And... And if you want to make it even darker, you don't, it's a little bit too light, you can go back over and darken your sky color. And just like that. See? Okay? So then you paint the whole piece of paper, whatever color you want. And it looks like this. This is my sky color. So the next thing we're going to do is draw a picture of ourselves with our arms spread wide and our legs spread wide, as if we're going to be drifting in the sky. And I have myself drawn here, but I don't have hair, so I'm going to draw hair on my head. Okay, and then you color yourself in. I'm coloring my shirt, and you color as much as you want. I'm going to color my shirt and my pants, and I think I'm going to color my hair. So you want to finish coloring, and then you can come in, and I'm going to color my hair. Okay, so you want to finish coloring, and then the next step is we have to cut ourselves out using our scissors, and I'm almost done color cutting myself out. Okay. So, so I cut myself out and then the next thing we're going to do is get our glue sticks and put glue all over the, ba our, the back of our body. So you want glue all over the back of your body. And then We're going to press ourselves onto our sky color. So that was our project today. We drew ourselves drifting through our sky color, and that's the name of our book, Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. I'll see you next time on Story Art.